It's sold as incense or potpourri, but it's known as synthetic weed. These products sold at smoke shops and online have become so popular in the last three years that the DEA has banned five chemicals used to make them. So new versions have popped up. Headhunter has a label that says it does not contain the illegal ingredients, but it doesn't say what is in it. And they end up with agitation and rapid heart rate and dry mouth and flushing, and it's not the same high at all as you get when you smoke marijuana. This is the Poison Information Center calling. Among the calls that come into South Florida's Poison Control Hotline, located at Jackson Memorial Hospital, people having toxic effects from smoking synthetic weed. There was a father, his wife, two children in the car. He was smoking it while driving, pulled the car over to the side of the road, got out, dug a hole in the ground, laid in in the hole in the side of the road and, and laid there twitching and seizing. NBC Miami intern Danielle Evitable has never used these products, but knows of some college kids who are making their own. For instance, I went to a friend's house once and I saw a big pan full of what looks like seasoning and I was like, what is this? And he was like, oh, it's a form of weed, it's, le it's legal though, like I made it myself. Yuckies in Coconut Grove says it will stop selling these herbal blends on July 1st. That's when a Florida law goes into effect, making some of these products illegal. So manufacturers simply switch to other ingredients that are technically legal and in some cases stronger.